I'm finally at the point where I'm ready to cut these little guys off of the hoops so that I can mount them in their finished frames. These guys are going to go in these little faux wood frames. So these are the two sizes of the smaller wildscapes that I'm going to have. And they're not like 100% finished, but at this point, I just can't do any more. Um, I decided I don't really like working on things that are that close together like that. It gets very fidgety for me and I don't know, I just keep layering things up. So there's gonna be more that I need to add to those, but I thought I would uh, come on here and cut them apart because they start to look completely different. And you can see where I did my little circle and I don't need to keep any kind of a, uh, an edging on this because what's going to happen is I'm going to be stitching through the center of things and it's going to go onto another piece of fabric that's stretched in the hoop. So, and they just start to look completely different when they're on their own. So see when you take this out, I don't have any of the ones handy that are going to go with the fabric in them. They're not going to be on, you're not going to see that brown, it's, that's going to disappear. But see, they're just going to barely fit in there. And that's what I like is that idea of something barely fitting in there and overflowing. So you'll see I've got to fill in some edges. But that'll be a whole lot easier to do uh, once they are in their individual pieces. Because what's happening now, the, only, the reason I don't do the whole thing in the small thing like this is that I really like to have something in the hoop stand when I'm doing French knots because it's just easier. I can use both hands at once. But now the other things I'm going to do, it's okay. Uh, it'll be a little fiddly, but not bad. Oh gosh, I just love it. So let's take a look, getting these guys cut up. So we've gone through the stages where it was the, I don't know what I'm doing. It's the ugly duckling stage. They all look the same. And now they're developing their own personalities. Yes, yes. And then comes the naming process. Oh my goodness, the naming process. So hard. All right. Let me move you back just a little bit here. There we go. And be careful not to cut anything off that I don't want to cut off. That's always the fear. So I start small. Yeah, I can come in and... And I'll trim all these edges off. You don't need to watch me do that. But see, now it, it's got its own personality now. It does. Trust me on this. All right. And then let's look at this. So I am excited to get these completely finished and in their frames and then photographed and in the shop. I'm hoping they will get in the shop by the 1st of April. That's that's my plan. Um, if not the 1st of April, then sometime in April because I'm, I'm close enough that I can say it, it will be April. It will not be at the end of March. That much I know. Um, if you want to be looking at these and considering that you might want to buy one, Make sure you sign up for my newsletter. I don't send out a bunch of newsletters. Um, they are occasional at best. Um, but the thing about the newsletter is when I put something in the shop, people on the newsletter get first dibs. So they get 24 hours where they get to see it before it's made available to the public. And the link to that is down in the description of this video. Let's see, already these guys look better. Let's let's get them all off of here. I'm excited. This is where it starts. It's like, oh man, this is worth all the time I put into them. I do love working inside a hoop because I see and there's the next one. I gotta add stones on some of them. They definitely need all of them need more stitches, but that's okay. Maybe 
I could rip it. I can rip it. That's even easier. Then I don't have to worry about accidentally cutting through something that I don't want to cut through. It's always the fear. That's why when I get to this point where they're so full, it's definitely time to get them into their, their final spots because there's just that danger of, you know, like, I don't know, just stitching down the wrong. It just gets fiddly. And who wants to work fiddly? I don't want to work on a fiddly manner. I want to just relax and have fun with this. that and then you got the littler ones so they're the same but they're different they all have their own little personalities let's do the last set where did I here we go one more set here And then comes the naming process. They all need their own name, right? Be careful not to cut that off. Let's see, we've got our cast on stitch, we've got our drizzle stitch, we've got our French knots. So these guys need the grasses. So they all need something. So tonight, while we're watching TV, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to get these guys cleaned up, and I'll get them stitched down onto their brown backgrounds. And looky there! How cool is that? So I'll, um, I'll come back and show you when I have them on the hoops and as I am working on them. But that's the mini Wildscapes in progress.